All right, today we're changing out the front brake pads and rotors on my son's 2008 Ford Focus. Uh, this job should be quick and painless for just about anybody. And the process that we're covering in this uh, video covers a lot of vehicles as far as changing out brake pads and uh, rotors. Okay, let's get started. All right, we're going to start by removing the two caliper bolts back here and down here. These are 15 millimeter, and I'm using a half inch ratchet. Uh, using a deep well, you could probably use an extension also. Let me get the bottom one here. Lost my light. All right. All right. So if your uh, rotor's developed a ridge, you might need to pry this off. Um, so you could use a screwdriver or the butt of your ratchet or something. Uh, when it starts, you'll see it'll, it'll break that ridge. It'll go over it. And I'm just going to use a jack stand to support my caliper so the weight of the caliper is not pulling on this brake hose here, okay? Let's go ahead and get this rotor out of the way. Let's take a look at the back side of this thing. It looks pretty crusty. Yeah, how are we liking that rotor? <laughs> Can't wait to see the pads. All right. All right, let's take a look at the pads here. And the inner one's pretty much gone. The outer one uh, has a lot of meat left on it. So that means something's sticking. Either the uh, caliper piston is sticking or these pins here. We're gonna uh, tear those apart and grease them up anyway. So see if we can get our pads out here. This one's got the spring clips um, on the back. And I'm just going to bend these out of the way to, to remove the pads. We have new pads anyways. And let's pop this one out. I just felt the the pins, the slides let loose, so those were sticking, I could tell. How's that look for a brake pad? <laughs> Alright, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, pull the caliper bracket off so that we can grease these pins up. Try not to rip these boots. If they are, if they're torn, you want to replace them. Um, if they're not, then just see they are a little bit stiff. So this is supposed to slide back and forth like that. It just came loose on me. Okay, so when it gets out like that, you can take your fingers and try to peel back the lips on the boots. You can see what I mean here. Okay, and then that'll pull right out. Or it should pull right out, there you go. Okay, so those were sticking. I don't believe the caliper piston was sticking, but uh, what we'll do is we'll get a better feel for that when we try to compress it. All right, let me grab some grease and add some more grease to these pins. And I'll just put a little dab in the end of these boots also. Okay, what you want to do is push it in all the way so that these boots compress and then just take your fingers and try to get those lips back up. Sometimes if you push them in all the way, they'll actually pop into place like that one just did. I don't know if you see that or not. Check all the way around, all sides. Uh, this one didn't. And yeah, there it goes right there. Make sure it's on. 
pull it in and out, make sure the boot doesn't come off, make sure it's moving smoothly. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is compress this uh, caliper piston here. But before I do that, I'm going to loosen my master cylinder cap. All right, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. And we're just doing this uh, in case your uh, brake system is really full. It just gives a place for the fluid to go. Then we'll pump the brakes and fill it back up after we take it for a test drive, right? All right, so what I've done is I've just taken the old brake pad. I stuck it back in place here, and I'm using a 5-inch C-clamp. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and slowly compress that piston. And it is going back easily, so I'm thinking that it was the pins that were sticking. And you want to push that back as far as you can, but don't over tighten it. It's only going to go back to where the uh, pad sits flush against the caliper. And through this whole process, make sure you're not pulling your boots out. Make sure those are still in good shape. Let me get the new pads here. Okay, so on these brake pads, they have these uh, spring tensioners. Okay, to, in order to do this outer one properly, you should actually remove these slide pins, um, and then you preload the uh, bracket, and then you have to bolt the slide pins in place. But we're not going to do that. I'm just I'm just going to finagle this uh, tensioner um, through the caliper bracket. Okay, when we get to that one, I'll show you. On the inner one. We're going to feed it in from the back. So you need to get a little bit of space. Slide your caliper bracket out like that. And you're going to drop your pad down in. And then you need to get these edges into the little slides. And it's going to be tough to get caught on camera, but I can show you the finished product when I'm done. All right, so that's what it should look like when you have your brake pad in place. Um, you've got these little ears that slide into place. Now your outer one needs to be in the same position. And again, because of these uh, spring tensioners, um, typically what you'd have to do is remove these caliper pins, the actual pins themselves, okay? I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna finagle these uh, out of the way, get it in place, and then I'll bend them back, okay? So it actually goes like that. All right, let me go ahead and get that one in. Okay, so if you bend those spring tensioners, make sure you just bend them back in place so that they're making contact with the back of the caliper bracket, okay? So that's what we should look like right there. And make sure again that your boots are good and that your caliper bracket moves in and out smoothly, okay? All right, uh, let's get the rotor. Let me set this out of the way using my jack stand here. All right, we're just going to spray down the uh, new rotor with some brake parts cleaner. Uh, if you don't have brake parts cleaner, use something like carburetor cleaner. Uh, you don't want any kind of a lubricant or anything that's going to leave a residue. And what we're trying to do is remove residue here. So, And I'm just going to try not to touch the surface of the rotor, but ultimately you'll end up with some fingerprints on there. Just don't want a bit, bunch of grease. Okay. And what I do is once I find the hole, I kind of wiggle the bracket. That helps you get it threaded in a little bit, I think. All right, let me grab my socket here. All right, make sure you get your uh, hubcap on correctly. You don't cover up your valve stem like I did uh, on the other side. Of course, you don't see those mistakes. Hey, thanks for watching. Hopefully this video has been helpful. Uh, leave questions and comments below. The last thing we're going to do here is tighten down our master cylinder. 
make sure you pump the brakes really good before you even start to move the vehicle. Uh, take it for a drive, come back, check your brake fluid, and make sure your master cylinder is on uh, nice and tight. When you're done here, torque these down also. I, I torque everything down to 90 pounds on my wheels. Um, might be overkill, but it's just a good, good idea. Uh, thanks for watching. Hey, if you haven't done it, hit that subscribe button right there and give me a thumbs up if this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye.